Wilhelm Röntgen. Wilhelm Röntgen is a German physicist who, in 1895, stumbled upon one of the most important discoveries in science, X-rays. While experimenting with cathode rays, Röntgen noticed a strange glow coming from a screen. This led him to realize he had uncovered a new type of radiation, which he called X-rays, X for unknown. His discovery would revolutionize medicine, allowing doctors to see inside the human body without surgery. Röntgen's breakthrough earned him the first ever Nobel Prize in Physics in 1901. Marie Curie. In the late 1890s, she studied strange rays discovered by Henri Becquerel and proved they came from inside atoms. She called the phenomenon radioactivity. Curie discovered two new elements, polonium and radium, both highly radioactive. In 1903, she won the Nobel Prize in Physics, shared with her husband Pierre and Becquerel. In 1911, she won a second Nobel, this time in chemistry, for isolating radium. Marie Curie was the first woman to win a Nobel, the first person to win two, and remains the only person to win in two different sciences. She never profited from her discoveries. She gave radium away for research, and exposure to radiation likely caused her death in 1934. Her work laid the foundation for nuclear physics and cancer treatment, and she did it in a male-dominated field without asking for favors. Albert Einstein. In 1905, at age 26, he published four groundbreaking papers in a single year, covering the photoelectric effect, Brownian motion, special relativity, and mass energy equivalents, E equals mc squared. His work on the photoelectric effect proved that light behaves like particles, quantum theory, and earned him the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921. In 1915, he completed his general theory of relativity, showing that gravity is the warping of space and time. His theories were later confirmed during a solar eclipse in 1919, instantly making him world famous. Einstein left Germany when the Nazis rose to power and spent the rest of his life in the US, warning about nuclear weapons but never building them. He changed how we understand time, space, matter, and energy, and he did it with a pen, paper, and pure thought. Niels Bohr. In 1913, he proposed a model where electrons orbit the nucleus in fixed energy levels, something classical physics couldn't explain. His model explained why atoms emit light at specific colors and laid the groundwork for quantum mechanics. Bohr worked closely with Einstein, Schrödinger, and Heisenberg during the rise of modern physics. In 1922, he won the Nobel Prize in Physics for his atomic model and contributions to our understanding of atomic structure and radiation. During World War II, Bohr fled Nazi-occupied Denmark and later helped in the Manhattan Project, though he warned against nuclear arms races. Max Planck. In 1900, he introduced the idea that energy is not continuous, but comes in small packets called quanta. To solve a problem in black body radiation, he proposed that energy could only be emitted or absorbed in discrete amounts, E equals H times F, where H is now called Planck's constant. At first, even he didn't believe how radical the idea was, but it became the foundation of quantum theory. He won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1918 for this discovery. Werner Heisenberg. In 1925, he developed matrix mechanics, the first complete and consistent formulation of quantum theory. Then, in 1927, he introduced the uncertainty principle, which states that the more precisely you know a particle's position, the less precisely you can know its momentum. He received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1932 for the creation of matrix mechanics. Erwin Schrödinger. In 1926, he introduced wave mechanics, showing that particles like electrons could be described as wave functions. 
His equation, the Schrodinger equation, became a central tool in quantum physics, used to calculate how systems evolve over time. He shared the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1933 with Paul Dirac for their contributions to quantum theory. Paul Dirac. In the late 1920s, he extended Schrodinger's wave mechanics and Heisenberg's matrix mechanics by unifying them into a more general framework using abstract algebra. Then, in 1928, Dirac developed the Dirac equation, which described the behavior of electrons while fully including special relativity. His equation didn't just work. It predicted antimatter, a completely new form of matter, later confirmed by experiments. In 1933, he shared the Nobel Prize in Physics with Schrodinger for their contributions to quantum mechanics. Enrico Fermi in the 1920s, he developed Fermi-Dirac statistics, explaining the behavior of particles that follow the Pauli exclusion principle, now called fermions. He also helped create the theory of beta decay, introducing the idea of the neutrino to explain missing energy in nuclear reactions. In the 1940s, Fermi led the construction of the first nuclear reactor, proving that a controlled chain reaction was possible. He received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1938 for his work on artificial radioactivity and nuclear transformations. To gain more knowledge, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to stay tuned on my uploads.